Hello, hello, my name is Mero, and this is my submission for Slot Car Rivals All Courses for A Race Against Time. Now, Slot Car Rivals is one of the Street Pass games. It was released in September of 2016 and is the only uh, racing game among them, I'm pretty sure. So, as you can see, this is the with booster category. You can see on the side, I have a golden computer chip with plus 19 to that one stat, which is top speed, of course. And that is the highest you can get. Uh, the, the actual way you get it is by um, getting 10 short me's. No other game uses the height of the me. They all use, like, birthday or shirt color or something like that. But this one uses height, which makes it a real pain to set up. But once you have it, you can go super quick. I believe it saves about two minutes overall to have the fastest booster. So without further ado, let's begin. Don't mind me just spamming the horn. So, the way this game is played, you hold A to go, and release A to stop. And that's it. But it's the combination of stopping and going that allows me to get excellence on these corners. You have to slow down so you don't crash, and then if you uh, press A again at the right time, you can get a pretty substantial boost. So I will, of course, be going for as many of those as I possibly can. So these courses are just kind of like the simpler courses, not a real whole lot going on. You can change the view with X. I'll use that at one point later in the run to get a better view of a very tricky uh, a very tricky uh, booster, basically. Not booster, but corner. You know what I mean. Alright, so what you just saw me do there, it might not have looked like much, but you can save a substantial amount of time with the max booster. Because these red corners will only make you crash when you're at top speed, you can just drive straight over it and not have to worry. Now, something this game did, and I'm not sure if it's because of time constraints or they just really like the level layouts, but about half of the courses in this game are called EX courses, which are the same courses in reverse. And for these first two, there's no real changes made, other than uh, the layout, or the look of the level. No changes made to the layout. Like, this is Simple Circuit, but at night. It's called- oops. That's what happens if you crash, by the way not good. There is um, one thing about crashing with the highest booster that we have, and that is just like when you start the race, there are some pads you will not have to worry about. If we had no booster, we'd have to hit all of them. So these courses here would actually be an okay time for uh, reading donations or anything like that. If you're talking about, you know, upcoming games or any bid wars or something like that. Because it's pretty much just the same course again. Now, this course is called Start and Stop Island. And what it introduces is these green pads, which work in a very different way to the usual corners. You hold A on that starting line, or that starting area, and then release it. For us, as soon as you hit this rainbow area on the front of it. And if you do it just right, you'll get a massive burst of speed. Oops. And it's if you miss, you're still at top speed. But, of course, if you're going faster, you save more time. And this is, in fact, a speed run.
One thing I did not mention is that this is in the Ghost Race mode, which is this game's equivalent of Time Trials. So there's no need to buy any um, Street Pass tags with Play Coins, or of course to use the Street Pass feature to get them. Oops. Yeah, like you see there, I could just drive right over. Don't have to worry about crashing again. It's pretty forgiving. At least when you have uh, this type of booster. And something about this course and its EX version is that the layout will switch every lap. So it's a little different every time. It's something you gotta really keep your eye on. Now this course I'd say is one of my favorites, and you'll see why in just a second. Or at the end of the lap, I mean. Another corner skip. This spiral here... Oh, I missed one. Oopsie daisy. It's, it doesn't look like much, but it's really satisfying to hit all of them in a row. Now, about the other stats that we didn't raise, they are acceleration and control. Acceleration is how quickly you get to top speed. And control is basically a forgiveness for hitting these corners. It gives you a little more time. But we're speedrunners. We put it all into speed. That's all that counts. So this is the first course where there's substantial changes with the EX version. And that's pretty much just moving these to the other side of the jumps. And then there's one right at the start of the lap, which helps us get to top speed super quick. Oops. Even if you mess up, you're still at your full speed. So you see, I am uh, chasing down my ghost, and that's the only way you can do the time trials. So you'll see you lose probably a fair amount. It's uh, real, good, <laughs> real good on the old self-esteem, let me tell you. So here, there's an interesting corner skip, because we can skip these first two, but not the third. And for the EX version of this course, it uses the layout from lap 2 for laps 1 and 3. And the 1 and 3 layout for lap 2. Oh, we're catching up. We're gaining on them. We're in the lead. Look at that. We gotta win. Let's go. So now, in Class A, they introduce a whole new type of booster, which will automatically speed you up crazy fast. Oh, whoops, Daisy. And it's this here. Oh. And this is, I didn't want to, I wanted to mention it, but I didn't want to quite show it, because that is one of the costliest crashes in the game. It costs about three seconds just because you lose all the speed from the blue boost, from, from the blue boost pad. It's actually quicker to just go onto the, it's quicker to just let go of A and not even try to hit it, than to try to hit it and crash. Which is kind of silly, but, you know, whatever works. there's one choice I really never understood about this game, and that's when you do ghost races, you don't get the level themes. That's only when you do a race with rivals, which is where you get a different booster at the end of every race. That's also part of why we compete in ghost race. It's just more consistent overall. Because while I uh, got this 3DS with a capture card, and then set like 10 Mii's on it, specifically to get good ones for this game. That's not something everyone who plays it can do. So we just use Ghost Race to make it more consistent for everyone without having to nuke like years of personal 3DS usage.
this course here is a little bit tricky, but it's all based on hitting these corners just right. Like these twisty bits up the ma uh, up the treetop. If you miss one, you miss the other two. So it's really crucial to get the timing down. It's almost like a rhythm game in that sense. So here we have the EX version of, I believe it's called Full Course Course. And this is now Carbo Load Road. Very cute names. And once again, we have to avoid a very, very costly crash. And just one more time around and we'll be set to jet. Like you saw there, I barely lost any speed by not hitting the uh, boost. But, you know, I still kept all that speed that I already had rather than losing it all. So here on Stormy Skyway, I believe it's called, because it is in fact storming, it's got this interesting dynamic where you have corners right next to the green pads. And the timing is a lot stricter than I'm making it look, believe me. And we got a victory. Alright. So now we're getting EX courses for the other courses that did not get one so far. This one is called Mountain Climber and it is the hardest in the game. Like you saw there, I switched my camera angle because the green booster there has such a small window and you lose like three seconds if you don't get it. You saw the massive difference in lap times there, between laps 1 and 2. Or rather, I guess 2 and 3, because lap 1 has the starting time. And here we have the, the EX version of Desert Swirl. Pretty much the same. For some reason they took out one of the, the uh, corners on that swirl. There's only 5 compared to 6. Not quite as satisfying to get them all. And there's a lot of intricacies to the timing of how you hit these corners. Like the closer you are to, I believe it's the three quarter mark of these corners, when you release and let go of A, the stronger your boost will be. Don't mind me just spamming the horn. Oh, that's slop. That's really not good. I'm sorry. You had to see that. Oh. I'm sorry you had to see that. Ooh, that's not good. Could have sworn I had that one. But yeah, like, these timings can be, like, if you're off by a frame, you could get a horrible crash like that. Alright, this is probably going to be like a 1340 something? Maybe like a low alert 1350? Another corner skip. I hardly ever get both of those corners after the first green pad. Oops. And like I said, the timing for these is super tight. Especially since we have all speed and no extra control. And time's gonna be when we cross the finish line on this lap. Alright, at 1348, that's not 
all that bad. Currently, uh, my PB and the world record for this category is a 1335. So I think all in all, this really wasn't too bad. I can definitely uh, finish in within 15 minutes. Certainly. So now I'd like to show off something that could be a donation incentive or a bid war, and that is the cars that you can play as. Like you saw, I played the whole game as a giraffe. But of the cars that are not user-made, and by the way, this game has a really intricate uh, car creation system. It's really cool. Um, there are 24 special cars, all of which could be used for a bid war or a donation incentive. Which ones, uh, it's all cosmetic, so it doesn't really make a huge difference to me which one it is. Like, we have this race car, a Formula One car. We have this old, like, vintage kind of looking car. With 93 Feb 09 on it. Not quite sure what that stands for. We have a crane. We have this one, which I believe you get after you beat the main quote-unquote story. It's called the World Champion Car. We have a big old fire truck. We got a tuna. We have a crawfish with wheels. We have this scary-looking pirate ship. We have a little ladybug. Our good friend the giraffe. And you can change the colors of these too, like this guy usually comes in a stock yellow. I just use pink because one is my favorite color and two it's a bit easier to see. We have a sleek looking like Lambo type car. A giant, act well not giant, but like a, a, a piece of sushi with wheels. Which is just hilarious. We got this cool rocket car. This rocket tricycle with special glowing lights. Oh, should probably turn off the UI to make it a little easier to see. But yeah, any of these would be um, a good choice for a bid war for which car gets used during the run. I personally hold no preference other than the giraffe, which is the cutest one. You got this car with the big old back wheels. A super cool police car. A pink little convertible beetle, I think. We got this car, which is designed to drive backwards. I'm not quite sure what these two are, but they're pretty much the same. We got this sleek looking black car. We got a big old big rig with angry eyebrows. I believe it's actually called Old Angry Brows in the English version. And we got this green little coupe. And like I said, any of them could be used as the bid war. Maybe pick like three or four, as long as it drafts on there. But yeah, um, that is my submission for Slot Car Rivals, all courses with Booster and a possible bid war for slot car. Thank you for watching. I hope you consider this for the marathon. Have a nice day.